We're on the cusp of a new technological revolution. Since everyone is still figuring out the digital one, we can be excused for feeling a little revolution fatigue. But this one is different. We are revolutionizing our relationship with our planet and redesigning our technologies and chemistries to work in harmony with Earth while still meeting the needs of her inhabitants. We still need food, clothing, and shelter. But flourishing in the modern world spawns a new set of essential needs. Things like refrigeration and air conditioning, electricity, transportation, and communications. We're looking to new ways and in new places to balance those essential needs with responsibility to our planet and our people. The answers will be found in the wholesale digital transformation of our society, in the next generation of transportation, in the creation of more efficient infrastructure, in the contributions of brighter minds everywhere, and in the transition to a new energy economy. Simply put, it boils down to five big C's. Connectivity, community, current, cooling, and the chemistry that powers them all. As Bob Buck of Camor says, we're coming from an industrial economy that says with enough might, energy, and will, we can pound every atom into submission to do what we want. That mindset has had a pretty massive effect on the planet. But we've got an opportunity now to use the ever-evolving science of chemistry to meet global needs responsibly. One way to do that is to design solutions that have, as Dr. Buck puts it, the resilience that the natural economy has. Others will emerge too, some incremental, some sweeping. Well over a century ago, we figured out how to fix nitrogen and thus set off a green revolution that kept billions from starving. The revolution of chemistry enabled those billions to thrive. Now it is time to figure out how to keep both revolutions going by developing far-reaching new technologies and chemistries that work in harmony with our Earth.